what does the tolerance of God look like? Is God always tolerant? The surprising answer is no. Just like you and I are intolerant of evil things like rape, murder, or corruption, God is intolerant of evil things. The Bible says he's going to judge the world for every evil thing committed. This is because God created our reality and he alone gets to decide what's right and wrong. We all know we've done evil things. We've lied, we've cheated, we've stolen, we've hated people. God doesn't take these things lightly. The Bible says that he's a perfect judge and he will hold us accountable for everything we do. Romans 3 says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. God is righteous and he will punish all guilty criminals. We are supposed to live in harmony with God on the earth, but we sin, so it separated us from God. We're all sinners by nature. There's no such thing as a good person. We're all sinful. We're all evil. But God is a gracious God. We are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. He was the perfect sacrifice to cover our sins. He received the punishment you and I deserve for our rebellion against God. That's the good news that we can have forgiveness for the mistakes that we've made. He was brutally beaten by humans that he created. He was hung on a cross until he suffocated to death. If God was willing to do all that to save you, it means that he loves you. And it's a right and good thing for God to be intolerant of all other religious systems that are just wrong. My worldview is from a Christian perspective, okay. so I believe in absolute truth and like what the Bible says. When did you become a Christian? I was 14. Okay, 14 yeah. years old? 14. Okay. Can you tell them what the gospel is? Yeah, Jesus Christ died on the cross for everyone who believes in his name and professes that he's savior and they commit their life to serving him and telling others about what he did for them and yep. that he wants to have a relationship with them and love them personally. Great talking to you, man. Yeah, yes. of course. So Bryce said a very important word there. It was the word worldview because he has the idea of what truth is and what truth is not. That was good. He agreed with absolute truth. He said it exists and he can know it. He turned from his sins when he was a 14 year old and that's awesome. Cool for me because that's my story too. I turned from my sins when I was a 14 year old. It's awesome to meet a guy like Bryce out here. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What you need to do is turn your back on every religious system that's a lie. Either Jesus was speaking the truth or he wasn't, which means we can either reject Jesus as the truth or we can surrender to him as the truth. But whatever you do, you can't say that he's just one truth among many. Do you think that all religions are pretty much the same deep down? No, I don't. Okay. Why not? Well, I believe in like, Jesus Christ. I feel like he's like my Lord and Savior and there's other religions who don't believe that. They don't believe that Jesus is like the way, the truth, and the life. Turn to Jesus because he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life, and no one can be saved except through him. Through him, God will not only tolerate you, he will adopt you into his family. He will forgive you of your sins, and he will lead you in all truth, and one day he will take you home to heaven.